Hey everybody and welcome to another video. We're going to be talking about grape juice and vinegar with Roblox. Okay, I want to show you first where you can get both. I'm on the flat hub. Basically, I'll be testing flat hub versions of both. Uh, you can see then you go there, you type grape juice, for example, boop, you end up here. And immediately it's February 13. So we can see that. Um, last update for this one for example was four months ago if you click on the release notes and all that you actually go to their page you can see um, everything that they offer last update that they did was basically three months ago about something there um, the features that they offer all the options that you can get when the grape juice uh, main settings thing opens and the changes that they did last time so for example for the 72012 they just changed some text well um and here they did other things okay for vinegar here's vinegar again flat hub you go to flat hub you type vinegar Caref careful because vinegar and vinagre are two different apps one is a remote controller and the other one is a it's again the, 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 the container for this Roblox thing. Uh, last update that they did here was, well, well, it says two months ago, but we'll check in a second here. Um, and oh, and I like this. So they actually put it there. Let me see something here. Okay, so it's a link. If you go to the vinegar page, you can see some information on what it offers. Basically, almost the same thing there. I love that it's a single, oh, it's a Go. Uh, I didn't know that, nice. It's a Go executable and all this information, well, that's that's pretty cool there. Um, if we go to the GitHub, we can see that last update was two hours ago. Okay, versus four months ago. I didn't notice that baby there. Just click here. Two hours ago, 171 came out two hours ago, and this one, holy mother. Well, it's this is being developed really actively. And you can see a lot of the information here. Okay. With that said, let's close this puppy. And we're going to be testing grape juice and, and vinegar. So let's open grape juice after installing it from the, from the plot pack. Um, if you open this for the first time, some people might need to come here and delete if it doesn't work. Like if you click here and it doesn't work, you need to come here to play and delete the whole thing. Just reset the whole thing and then save it again. That should fix it. Other times, and let me make this bigger, you might need to change this Roblox render from Vulkan to something else for it to work. On some other cases, I've seen that they need to enable the DXPK D3D for it to work. And I've never seen a case where they actually install this properly. Just in case, don't click it. Um, that's about it. If we, if you can see, I type grape juice and then click on open Roblox API. And then the whole thing just starts and it says that it's going to be uh updating roblox if there's an opt update for roblox and then the thing just opens if you do get into those web view pages for example if i click this i'm guessing roblox symbol i end up on this page and it takes a while for you to actually being able to click on the x like if i click it again and the mouse sometimes that happens i don't know if you're noticing that the mouse goes away that happens here on the grape juice version. It's rare, but it happens. It just so happened that it just happened here while recording. Okay, so let's click on this thing here. And if I t try to click the X, it takes a while. Okay. And the mouse just goes crazy. Okay, let's wait a second. So it shows. I'm just showing you real time some issues that you are going to be encountering holy mother well the performance just in case on both is the same 
you're going to see the same performance. There we go. I got the mouse back. Uh, but if you click here, let's say um, we go to where's settings. There's settings. That works. If I go back, all good. If I try to play a game, it's going to work. The, the games don't crash and I don't, I think somebody said that, uh, like the, I get banned because I'm using, no, 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 you, you won't get banned. My kids have been playing all this for weeks now, especially that little dog that I laugh a lot with that, with that one, but they've been playing a lot of these games. Okay. So you could say that they've invested what, like 60 hours already on this. So. No ban, no nothing. They've been playing both of them. My wife also has another account for testing purposes. And no ban. Performance is perfect. Okay? No problem there. On three different computers. Uh, one has an NVIDIA 1080. Another one has a 260, I think it is. And this one that has a 4090. But if it works on Windows, it will work in here with the performance and all that. Anyway, but on Grape Juice... I do have to complain that, for example, if you close it, and I'm going to have to open here the system monitor, sometimes when you close it, like that, like I just I just did there, and you try to open it, it fails. It'll just, like, crash or something. In this case, it's working nice, great. Hopefully, it stays like that. But sometimes, it just stays there, and you can... Um, you keep basically you can open it again. This is a Roblox. Oh, this is a vinegar version. Before I jump there, let me close it again and let's go to the the other one. This one directly. I'm just gonna open Roblox directly from Grape Juice. This happens. Okay, and you're like, okay, how can I, can I how can I fix that? If I try to open uh, Roblox from grape juice directly from here, this sometimes happens. Okay, so the solution for that is you literally opening the system uh, settings here and killing everything that looks like a Windows app. So you got explore dot executable there. Okay, let's um, here's Roblox all the times I tried to open it. This happens mainly or only I've seen on on the grape juice. Okay, so here's another one that I gotta kill. Anything that's wine server related to, here's another one that I gotta kill, 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 kill. I'm basically Agent 47 here, killing everything. Uh, and that one too. This one here. Let's kill it. Kill the fire. In theory. Everything should be dead in regards to Roblox there. And I should be able to either open it from the grape juice. There you go. Or standalone. Uh, but for the standalone, see, th this is what I'm talking about. Like the, th the, the process, the container that matches these processes, it's, it's just, it's bad. It's not doing its job. If it detects that it closed itself, it should immediately close everything like vinegar. Vinegar actually handles that properly. Um, I don't see another one there somewhere. I think. Let's kill this. Just for the last test. Hopefully. Okay. So let's type Roblox. And I think this one is the grape juice. No, that's the vinegar one. See, on Vinegar, you can open it. Roblox. Let's open it directly without opening the, the, the grape juice um, window. And you can see the, the grape juice version works. But a lot of times, if you actually close it, like you're in a hurry and you close it like that, you screwed up the whole thing. A lot of people actually reboot the computer. This is another alternative that you can use here. But you got to, like, memorize the ones that are are related to that Roblox. Give me one second. And where's the main main process? Oh, and you, if you kill the main process, the children don't go away. By the way, so that's another 
weird thing there. Okay. Let's kill that. Bye bye. No Roblox. No Roblox like this. Okay. All good there. Okay, now let's do vinegar. Okay. If you type vinegar like that, you get this weird thing. You're like, what the? Don't don't worry. On vinegar, it's a standalone. So you just run it like that. This is how the, the launcher for vinegar looks, okay? Very different. If you close it the same way that, that I just show you and you try to open it again, you can see that it's, there you go. Close it, open it again. I think you notice something. You get quick, it's much faster. You get quicker to the actual playing time, okay? You don't have to go through the grape juice there. It opens faster than grape juice. And let's do a, another test here. So I'm just gonna do this one here. Boom. And I wanna do the grape juice one. Boom, there you go. So you can see that it opens quicker, but it also handles the closing part properly because this all is grape juice. It left all this garbage everywhere. And if I try to open it again, I mean, the grape juice version, it fails, obviously, because it, it, it never closed properly. And now I got two more here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so those are, I, I, I wouldn't say minor. I would, I would say actually big, big things. Big things that you got to take care of um, if you have kids, especially if you have kids. So I, what I ended up uh, doing is basically testing both cases. And when I found that out and, and basically did multiple iterations of it to make sure that I was right, I just left them with um, vinegar. That's it. No more problems, no more weird things. Also, on grape juice, it just so happens that it crashes. On both, it crashes, okay? Rarely, but it crashes. But on on grape juice, it crashes even more, a lot more. So they could be playing, for example, let's say one hour. And during that hour, they, there's like a 50% chance that it, it will crash during that hour. On vinegar, we're talking, they could be playing six hours. And they could have one crash during that time, or they could have no, no, no crash at all. So just things that you gotta um, take into consideration. And let me just do the proper thing here before I forget, which is, sorry, but you really gotta go because if I forget this, the kids might use that specific one. If you do install both, that's why when you type Roblox here, you, you see two, okay? Um, and here, you're only seeing this two because it's, it's just vinegar. See? It's just vinegar. But vinegar has a better um, container management system, less crashes, faster loading. Um, it's not going to fix the, um, what do you call the the web view thing issue there? That's um, that's something that's being worked on on wine for both cases, for grape juice and, and vinegar. But you can see that they're more active. Things are faster on vinegar, more stable on vinegar. Probably I use the same amount of memory or something. But you know what? Let's do that test. Let's just do that, that quick test. Grape juice... While that's being installed, installing there, I'm going to open Roblox here with vinegar. And we're going to check how much RAM that puppy uses between all this, the, the, the processes there. Uh, show dependencies. Let me see if I can ping this down quicker. So you got a whole bunch of family and friends here. Uh, you got 14, 4, well, okay. 
14 there, vinegar it's 2.5, just to give you an idea. Obviously, it's scaling to the amount of RAM that I have, but just to give you an idea, okay? So we got, you can, you can pause the video. So we got like 17 there, 18, more or less between all of that. Great for you. Let's close this puppy. Let's, does it work from here? Because sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it just gives me the, the finger. Grape use. Okay, let's open it there. We're basically doing it from scratch here so you can see how the, the whole experience will be. Okay, and now let's test the, the usage, the usage. So we got six here. And that's about it. So we got basically, what, three times less RAM usage. Interesting there. Something to take into account in pro of, of um, grape juice version. Well, hopefully that's all there. Let's close it. Let me close this, I'm scared. Okay, nothing, oh crap. The, the whole thing just stayed there. Yeah, let me kill all this. Okay. Let's open grape juice again. Test again. I forgot about those B wrappers. Um, let's f look for it. Here it is. Yep. Yeah, we can say that it's just seven, worst case, eight or something like that. Um, so it is twice. Vinegar is twice. It's using twice as much uh, RAM. But it's Dude, it's stable. The thing is just stable. I don't know if it's... Give me a second. Let's close this. Let's let's kill the wrapper. Just to make sure that... Yeah, there we go. There's nothing weird. Yeah, all good. Let's open vinegar and let's see how it behaves. It opens directly here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 14 there. And where's the other one? It was 14 there. And here is the other one. Yeah, so it's it opens like that. I'm guessing it calculates based on the amount of RAM that you have in your computer, but at least it gives you more stability performance etc 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 so something to take into consideration in regards to that and you can test both yourself through fat uh, flat pack okay so thanks for that big hugs and think positive as always